Hello again, everyone. My name is Avkash and you are all welcome to the third and the final video related to our All Things Wikigon series. In the first two videos, we have covered autoencoder with more emphasis on the latent space and the reconstruction error. And in the second video of this series, we have covered the variational autoencoders as well as the vector quantized variational autoencoders or the wiki VAE. And our emphasis in the second video was at the codebook, how codebook is generated, how the features are stored into the codebook and how the codebook is going to be used later to generate the images or the reconstruct the images original images as well as the new images. And now it's the third video of the same All Things Wikigan series. And in this video, we are going to cover both VQ, VAE plus GAN because combining these two is what becomes your VQ GAN. So our focus is going to be generative adversarial networks GAN as well as the VQVAE very vector quantized variational auto encoders. We will also learn what the transformer is and how the transformer is used to extract features from the code book and use those features to generate new images. So I think this introduction should be enough for you to get excited. So let's get ourselves started now. A GAN or Generative Adversarial Network is a machine learning model in which two neural networks compete with each other to become more accurate in the prediction predictions. GANs typically run unsupervised and use a cooperative zero-sum game framework to learn. The two neural networks that make up a GAN are referred as the generator and the discriminator. The generator is a convolutional neural network and the discriminator is a deconvolutional neural network. The goal of the generator is to artificially manufacture outputs that could easily be mistaken for real data. The goal of the discriminator is to identify which output it receives have been artificially created. So the generator uses latent space to read the latent vectors and generate the artificial or the generated content. The generated content is processed by the discriminator or the deconvolutional neural network. Now, the discriminator or the deconvolutional neural network access the data set for the real content and check for the generated content for its correctness. The discriminator filters through the information and returns a probability between 0 and 1 to represent each image authenticity. 1 correlate with the real and the 0 correlate with the fake. These values are then manually checked for success and repeated until the desired outcome is reached. So you can understand that the GANs create their own training data as the feedback loop between the adversarial networks continues. The generator will begin to produce higher quality output and the discriminator will become better at flagging data that has been artificially created. At this point, we have covered all independent components related to VQGAN such as autoencoder, then variational autoencoder, then vector quantized variational autoencoder, and finally, the generative adversarial networks or the GAN. It means now it is our time for us to combine everything together and study the VQ GAN. 
For the GAN, we know that we need both the generator and the discriminator to complete the process. However, with the VQ GAN, the VQ VAR replaces the generator. It means the VQ VAR generates the image while the discriminator is used to flag image correctness, which helps VQ GAN to generate the final image as expected by the network. Here we are combining the VQ VAR with the GAN discriminator. First, we have a source image. That image is going to be encoded first and then the encoded entry will be placed into the codebook. After the entry is available in the codebook, the decoder is going to read the features from the codebook and select certain features from the codebook to generate its image. That image is going to be sent to the discriminator for its correctness. The discriminator will either flag true or false for this given image and depending on its true and false, it will supply both the loss and the gradient to the decoder process of the VQ VAR. And this process continues until the discriminator validate that image is correct as expected. So with the combination of VQ VAE and GAN, the overall system can generate almost real images as provided by the source data. So how we could again generate the new images? Because so far we have understood that VQ GAN can generate the images as it trained for the source, but we haven't understood how VQ GAN is going to generate the new images. Let's understand that next. Here we are taking the VQ GAN architecture as described into the VQ GAN Taming Transformer research paper. Here we have a CNN encoder and we also have a CNN decoder. So this is our VQ VAE and here is our CNN discrim discriminator which is GAN. So the composition of this and this is basically the generator and the discriminator full GAN architecture. Now we have an image which is encoded by the encoder and its encoded values are stored into the latent space codebook which stores all the features related to the source image. Here as you could see that the koala ear, eyes, nose, paws, legs or the hands are identified and those features are stored into the codebook. Now to generate the output image as koala the features are requested or the extracted from the codebook and the scene and decoder uses those features to build the image. That image is then sent to scene and discriminator which flag this image to be real or the fake. So based on this lecture or the VQ GAN tutorial, we have completed the process to generate the images as the source data through the VQ GAN. However, looking at the VQ GAN full architecture, we see the most important part of VQ GAN is the transformer. And the transformer is the key for us to generate new images. With the help of transformer, we can process a method of selecting certain features from the codebook and then use those features in the decoder to generate new images. So here we can understand that how the new images are generated in the VQ GAN. So to understand the new image generation process into the VQ GAN, we can ask these questions. First, how does transformer work? How transformer takes advantage of codebook? And finally, what is the role of transformer in the VQ GAN? If we get answer to these questions, we can also get the answer about how the new images are generated into the VQ GAN.
let's get the answer to all of these questions next so we already have a code book it means the training has been done and the features are extracted and they are all stored into the code book and we also have a transformer which is part of our vq gan now a request comes to create a new image based on given statement such as a beautiful house inside the green garden filled with beautiful flowers next to lake with blue sky and clouds at first step the input text has to be tokenized and after tokenization the tokens are processed through a language transformer and tokens are passed into the transformer so a language transformer is going to be used to process the input tokens and generate positional encoding these encodings has to be understood by some way from the code book so that the features specific to the input request can be selected now these selected features are fed into the decoder part of vq gan which process these features and at first iteration generates an image that image then sent to the discriminator which flags this image and provide the loss and the gradient back to the decoder after the iteration 1 more iterations are happened and and let's assume that after the 50 iteration the image is generated that image again sent to be discriminator like every iteration is to the image is flagged and then both the loss and gradients are sent back to the decoder and now let's assume that we are hitting at iteration 300 where the another image is generated based on selected features and now that image is sent to the discriminator the discriminator flag this image for its correctness and that image is the final image which is generated based on the text prompt so using the prompt we have used the vq gan by the combination of extracted features in the shape of code book and with the help of transformer we successfully generated the target image and now we can find the answer to the questions related to the transformer and how the new images are generated first the how does transformer work the transformer process sequential data which is good to process the input request to generate the new images how does transformer takes advantage of code book the new requested features are checked in the code book and if found these features latent vectors are selected to generate new image based on selected features as per input request and finally what is the role of transformer in the vq gain so the answer is that the transformer role is to process the input request and select the features from the code book and pass those features to the vq var decoder to generate new images and discriminator make sure that the images are good if you are interested in reading and learning more about vq gan through its research paper please do visit to this archive location where you can get the abstract as well as the full research paper related with vq gan under the title taming transformers for high resolution image synthesis please do visit to this taming transformers github repo where you can get the full implementation of the vq gan as well as the model which you could use i will be creating the separate video content where you will learn how to use the model as well as the vq gan implementation in your own python AI project there is another separate implementation of vq gan in pytorch and this implementation also comes with youtube video i think this video which you could follow and learn the step by step implementation of vq gan in pytorch 
I did suggest it that most of the GAN or the image generation projects, they cover VQ GAN and the CLIP. So if you are interested to learn more about CLIP, here is the implementation of the CLIP as well as the research paper and other information related to CLIP by OpenAI. That is also another source for you to try. And finally, everything we have covered in three different videos in this All Things VQ Games series that all content is available at this DeepWorks repo in my ProdRamp GitHub project. So the folder is All Things VQ Games and here you can learn all the content related with VQ Games as well as other resources which are going to be helpful to you. So now at the end of this third video related to our VQ GAN series, you have good understanding about what is VQ GAN and how the VQ GAN generate the images based on training data as well as generates the newer images which are not part of training data. So VQ GAN is just one piece of puzzle when we are talking about text to image generation or the generation of different photorealistic images using VQGAN and other components such as CLIP. I will be creating more content related to VQGAN, CLIP and other components in coming days. So please do subscribe to my channel so you will get notified for the new coming content. Until then, thank you so much. That's all I had for you in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed the content in my video. If you have liked it, please do share it. Please subscribe my channel and also comment your feedback or any suggestions you have. I do appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Until then, please be good and do good. Thank you.